What's up folks, it's Alex here, Mr. Alex Tech, and I've just discovered this super quick, easy way of doing this animated rainbow gradient style text effect. Super quick and easy to do on the free version of DaVinci Resolve directly on the edit page. Now yes, there are other ways to achieve this, but this is just a real nice, simple way to do it. So let's open DaVinci Resolve and I'll show you how. So here we are on the edit page of DaVinci Resolve. First things first, click on the effects library, top left hand corner, and then we're gonna to go to titles and then just grab a standard text title and drop that on your timeline, just on video track number one, like so. Give it a click in the inspector, video, title, change this to be whatever you want it to be. So I'm just gonna go with Mr. Alex Tech. I'm gonna get a nice chunky font, we'll make it a bit bigger, and I'm gonna go with something like that. Now what you need to do, still within the inspector under video, you've got title and then settings, click on settings, come on down until you see composite and then within the composite mode, choose the drop down and you want to make this the alpha. By changing the composite mode to alpha, what we're essentially doing is turning this title into a mask. So although it looks the same, it's actually masking things out but you won't really see that until we apply the foreground, which will then fill in that mask, which is what we're gonna do now. So still within the edit page, effects library once again, this time we're gonna to go to generators and we're gonna grab the four color gradient. Just drag that on top of your text. So you've got the gradient on top with the text underneath. Initially what will happen is the four color gradient will cover up your text. Don't worry, that's expected. Give the four color gradient a click in the inspector video settings, so same place as before. Come to composite, click the drop down. This time you want to change this one right at the bottom to be the foreground. The text is the mask and we fill in that mask by changing the four color gradient to be the foreground and voila. So now we've got our text with our four color gradient, which looks cool. So I'm gonna give this four color gradient a click Inspector, this time I'm gonna to go to the Generator tab. Within here, you can change the X and the Y just to move the colors around. You can change the colors of all the different corners so you can get it looking exactly as you want it. And then to animate it, still with the four color gradient selected, in the Inspector, go back to the Settings tab. And all we're gonna do is use the rotation angle to rotate the four color gradient, which gives us that animated effect. Now, as you can see, because my title is so big, we're actually cutting it off. So we're losing some of the text. Just above rotation angle, you've got zoom. Click on this little link to unlink those. And then I can just change my Y to make this longer. And then I'll just use the rotation again. And I can just double check, nothing gets cut off. So we're good to go. So all we then need to do is keyframe it. So I'm gonna move my playhead to the very beginning of this four color gradient. In this rotation angle, I want my degrees to be zero. So that's perfect. And then we just click this little icon, this little diamond next to the rotation angle to add a keyframe. And then gonna move my playhead to the end of the four color gradient. Within the rotation angle, we're just gonna change that to be 360, or you could do 720, 1080, however much you want this to spin. And then if we just go back to the beginning and hit play, we've got this real simple animated rainbow gradient text effect. Now, obviously you're probably gonna to want to put this on top of some video footage. So you just drag both of them, put them over the top of some footage like so, hit play and you can see it works just like that. Now, if you want to resize everything to put it in a better place, a quick way of doing that, highlight both the four color gradient and the text box on the timeline, right click and then turn it into a compound clip. Give it a name, I'm gonna go with rainbow and then we can just move this compound clip wherever we want it. And then if we give it a click in the inspector, we can zoom it out, we can change the position, get it exactly where we want it. And then when we hit play, we've got this nice animated color text effect thing going on. Now, don't worry, that's just a compound clip. You can still get access to the text and the full color gradient if you want to. Simply right click, open in timeline, and then you'll get back to this point so you can give the text box a click, change any of the titles, or give your full color gradient a click and change any of the colors. To get back to that original timeline, just find it within your media pool, mine simply called Timeline 2, double click, and we're back at this point. If you wanna get it back to its original form, right click, decompose in place, and then you're back to where you started. Simple. And there you go. Super simple animated text effect in no time at all. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. Let me know down below if you did. Take it easy. I'll see you next time.